Oh my god! Now, remembering this is gonna be a pain. <laughs> wow, I can just do whatever right now. Because everyone at the table has more cards than I do. I am big stupid. I don't know these things. Uh, my background's in physics, so I absolutely hate stars. But <laughs> like, uh, this, this is the easy category of questions? <laughs> Welcome to, what the? <laughs> They're laughing. Welcome to Shelf Side Plays. Let's go to Mars, where we go to Mars through trivia questions. And the more trivia questions we answer, the faster we can go to Mars. It is the year 2036, and World War III is happening, so life on Earth is impossible. So all we have left to save humanity are eight different spaceships from different countries. The only way to survive is to go to Mars. Uh, I I'm assuming it's been terraformed, I, I guess. We're here to celebrate the Kickstarter world premiere of Let's Go to Mars, an eco-friendly, water-resistant game for all ages that you can take with you on the go. The pleather mat is washable. Yeah, okay, this isn't your ordinary game, it's from Slovenia. You know where NBA Luka Doncic came from? Any other basketball fans out there? So Slovenians taught us this game, and this is the first promotion and recorded playthrough of it, so let's go to the how to play. The goal is to be the first rocket ship to get to Mars, then you win. If no one makes it to Mars by the time 12 turns are over, everyone loses and dies. To do that, you'll be moving up spaces by answering trivia questions about space. Everyone has a different starting position based off of the randomized card draws, where cards give you initial distance or cash money you can buy cards with. On your turn, you'll first flick this piece in a test of dexterity. Wherever it lands on, you move that much. But don't flick all the way to the end, that's zero and your turn is forfeit. Anyways, after moving from flicking is done, you'll draw a trivia question and read it out loud to everyone to answer. Once they've all written their guess, you put the card down and flip this metallic sand timer. Once it finishes, you have to write down the correct answer on your sheet. It must be exactly what's written on the card. Short term memory test. Anyone who got the guess right, including you who had to write it down verbatim, moves up equal to your initial flick of value. If you're about to collide with someone else on the board, one of you must play one of these cards from your hand to increase your speed or get protection. That's basically it for now. We'll be drawing from different decks as we move closer to Mars. And then there's even this 2x speed card you can buy and then play before your turn before you flick. Oh, also you have to flick exactly the correct number to get to Mars at the end of the game. So humanity is on the line. Will you claim glory for your country or will time run out and will there be human extinction? Hi, I'm Daniel of Shelfside. You know, the guy who is part of the channel Shelfside. So yeah, that's cool. That's me. I am playing as America and I have a ton of money. Very lore accurate, very, very accurate trivia game. Hi, my name is Pranav. I'm playing as India today uh, by popular demand. Uh, <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, right. Yeah, so today I was playing the UK, you know, for the queen. Hello, I am Alexander and I'm playing as Japan. <laughs> now, we were going to show the bidding for some of these cards, but all you really need to know is that Daniel was able to bid for most of them okay, with his insane American starting money. I'm not bidding. Uh, 40. 40. What was the number you said again? 30. All right, 40. Uh, plus sure, one. I'll put 20 down for that. 30. 40. For a plus one, I'll bid 10k. 20k. <laughs> this man just hiking up on the Having that much money during bidding. Great feeling, because you're like, wow, I can just do whatever right now. I have no cards in hand. I have one protection card, which I'm going to hope nobody is paying attention that I have that, because everyone at the table has more cards than I do, so everyone is going to be able to hold one over on me. I'm going to flick my bean now. Wait, did you get your plus one card back? Yes. You did? Okay. Ready, set, go. Oh, that's a five. Oh, that's a five. Give me five. Give me that trivia card. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not messing around this round. What is the death of a star called? A, a starburst, B, a supernova, or C, a star fart? Clearly a star fart. Maybe kids think that it is named after the death no, of a star. Star fart. Is it a starburst versus a, 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 star a, a star fart or something? It's like... How could you get that wrong? Uh, my background's in physics, so I absolutely hate stars, personally. I think they're the worst thing ever created by God. All right, the right answer is B, supernova. Oh no, I rolled D, what is wrong with me? <laughs> what the frick? Okay, so we all move up five. Yes. You guys are welcome. Five, two, three, two, 
three, four, five, and then Jason goes up. Uh, I mean, one. it doesn't matter because no, everyone moves up. One, two, three, four, five. All right, Thank wow, you. we did it. I was still not ahead. I moved ten spaces. I'm still not ahead of Jason. <laughs> yeah, I had less money. <laughs> Flip. Okay. That is a one. It was a little too far. Oh yeah. my oh, okay. god. Okay. Next time yeah. you got it. It was close. Okay. I have no skill. I have no skill with dexterity. But for trivia games, I'm. I think I'm pretty good. What is the name of the group of American astronauts that NASA presented to the public? in April 1959. A, the Mercury 7. B, the Apollo 3. C, the Neptune 5. What year was it again? 1959. My strategy for the game uh, is, I, I don't, is there a strategy to this game? I, I just, I, I read the question, I listen to the question and go like, that sounds right, I do that. That doesn't sound right, let's not do that. My strategy is get the questions right. For the queen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. <laughs> timer. The timer looks pretty cool. Oh yeah. Okay. What's the so answer? long. The answer is A, the Mercury yeah. Seven. Oh, oh no. no. Which yep, yep. I I managed to write. I got it. I uh, I'm big stupid. All right, so so everyone but Daniel moves up one, right? Yeah. It's okay, it's no okay. Just happens. So I move up two in total. Yeah. Unless yeah. you moved me one already. You'll, I, I already, already moved, moved you one, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then, then I move up one as well. Yeah. I am big stupid. I don't know these things. I'm not gonna remember the exact year the Mercury 7 team was announced. It's just never gonna happen for me. Um Mercury 7. That, that was the right answer for that one though. Did yeah. you say space yes. is a heavy euro? I didn't do it. You got it? Alright, check this out. Boom. Oh my god. Wait, <laughs> what? Did it go? Yeah, it's yeah, bounce back at the back. Wait. Yeah, so it's a skip. I thought, I thought it's, if it no, ends No, I'm sure if it hits the back at all. Oh, really? yeah, it's it's really Why did it move so yeah, far? Did we loosen the string? Oh. What happened? No, you just flicked it really hard. When I have to wait for this guy to point a camera at me, I'm just like, not there. I'm absent. My mind, empty. Just like when I have to wait for someone to flip the timer, and I'm just like, head empty. Daniel made us lose a round. The stream is oh, less boy. hot, bro. Look at the, what, what is this? It moves so far. It was lubricated, bro. <laughs> it's been my split. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. Ready? Hey, 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 it's bent. <laughs> that's I true. Think that's a two. Wait, wait, wait. wait it's at middle. Uh, that's a, middle? It's at the middle? No, that's two. Wait, no, you two. moved it. it was, oh, no, I think you moved it. It right? was It was, it was middle, middle, yeah. I swear oh, I was in the middle. Just restart it. Just read it. That's that a four. four. All right, very so good, very go good. All right, yeah, one, two, good. three, four. Oh, no free moon card, though, right? That's fine. Would you like to buy one, though? I don't know. I might as well just buy it. Moon card! Moon card! Nice. Okay. IMF gets 50 more thousand dollars. <laughs> nice. My moon card. Oh, do I draw this now? Oh, yeah, you're green, yeah. Ooh. Oh, All right. Boy. Okay. Switch it to green. Switch it to green. How many astronauts died on January 28th, 1986, during the launch of the Challenger spaceship? A6, B7, C8. But what year was that again? Uh, 1986. I swear I had this question, I forgot the number. Some of these are like very easy to memorize, and some of them are not very it's easy. Not to 200 memorize. words. 200 okay, words. I mean, I forget the number. B, seven. B, oh, woo! Darn. Yes. All right. So, okay, sing goes. One, two, Why three. Why couldn't four. I have used the two times uh, now? Rob, did you go? I didn't get it. One, no. two, three. Oh, oh! Okay. B, okay. oof. So, right, so you hit me, so you got to decide on what I have to play a card. First, yeah. yes. Uh, would you like to do protection, or would you like to just do plus one? I have three cards in hand. None of them are protection, are they? How many cards do you have if I could? <laughs> Six. So my general strategy was to hold on to the projection cards until I absolutely needed them and use the plus ones as an alternative. Because everyone at the table has more cards than I do, so everyone is going to be able to hold one over on me. Uh, so I'm going to beg people to play their cards instead of me. We're a very meekly funded <laughs> space. How many protections are there in the game? Uh, six. Six? Are you guys we card counting we, we, we missed a turn. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm, I can hit a plus one. That's fine. Uh, if you play a plus one, what what happens? Again? You move forward plus one, and then the crash doesn't happen. Yeah. Take your movement, please. Okay, I'll yeah. do that. I'll yeah. move forward plus one. Plus one. I'm gonna play the moon. So uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, one, two, three, four. I felt nice. I I, I wanted I to be known that I do have three protection we, cards in my hand, and what? I could have. We will you remember. Because you have to announce moon before him. But anyways. What the heck? Oh, we do things. Oh, two. 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 One, two. Okay. 
Here's your blue. Your question. I, it's because I wanted to stay in the blue. Oh, he's, he's gonna. No, he wants to get the perfect moon landing. Sure, yeah. Mm. Mm. That's why. What were Neil Armstrong's first words when he, as the first man, walked on the moon? A. One small step for mankind, one giant leap for man. B. It is a great honor and privilege for us to be here. Or C. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Are we supposed to be talking or this dead silence? I mean, we should talk. It's oh, an entertaining you. video, but uh, oh. you know, we could also just sit here very awkwardly. Huh. Everyone just like stare at the camera with your best lead poisonings there. What does that even mean? <laughs> what? I think I have it. Yeah, cool. I put the comma in there too. All right, what was awesome. the answer? Uh, C, one small step for man, comma, one giant leap for mankind. Very wow, nice. Wow. Jason, double check him. Just in case yes, he's cheating. Yes, I did double check him. <laughs> so everybody moves up. What was that? Two? Two. Yeah, Two. so I get the free moon card. Yes, yeah, right. so you get the free moon Ooh, card. Now I have 50k. Grab, grab your moment. free moon one, card. Two. One, two. One, two. You move everybody? Okay. Um, yep. Fun fact. I actually Mike don't think those were his words. Uh, actually, let me, let, me make sure was, let me make sure I'm right. I don't think those are actually his words. I think oh, you're trying to send me the games wrong, huh? <laughs> No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't that far off. I thought his first words were, "Damn, there's a Starbucks here." <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm so funny. Wow, what an original joke. Yeah, yeah. I think it's um, it's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. But I guess like he he thinks he said that, but NASA. The, the question's really interesting, but they felt more like historical questions and not really science questions, which is a personal gripe of mine when people talk about trivia. It's not really an understanding of stuff, rather facts to remember. I am a dog water at trivia games. But this one, it's got three answer multiple choice. I can work with that. I can work with that. Okay. A three. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. okay. But then you crash! Yeah, I know. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Wait, that's actually the worst place to crash to. Oh no, how could god. India uh, oh, get crashed into by Japan was, again? Oh, nice. again. <laughs> hey man, we gotta team up the, and beat these the, guys. The next week. Okay, well, you did me a solid, so I will play a plus one. Well, plus actually. One. Uh, well, no, no, but I kind of want get you to get the two card. times. Do you have enough money to afford a two times speed if you don't get it right now? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, do you have enough money to do... What's the other thing? The space yes. station? Yes, I, I got zero cards in the bidding. Oh, I got okay. undercut by <laughs> someone. <laughs> someone. <laughs> Who shall remain nameless. I am a master of manipulation. I love how much India and Japan crashed. That was very funny. It was by pure random chance that I was bumping into Pranav. Uh, I will I will pay the toll now if you will do us a solid should we collide in the future. Again. Okay, sure, that's fine, yeah. Okay, then I'm playing a plus one. Okay, cool. No free moon card for you. No, but I will pay for it r immediately. You get a moon card right here, and then, also and then you also get a green card. Oh, shoot, I should have done the plus one, so then we would have gotten a blue card. Do we want to reverse that so that way, if I do nah, the plus nah, one, nah, then you nah, get a blue card? That was already caught on camera, nah, nah. no takes you yeah, backsies. Yeah, no, no takes you backsies. <clears throat> wow. What is the name of a network of convection cells in the photosphere? A. Fermentation. B. Granulation. Or C. Expedition. Time. That is honestly, I, I don't, I don't know if the camera picks it up that well, but like that, so it's so very fun. fun to look at. We gotta start distracting people during this timer more. What is this? Oh, we're hey. talking. I'm done. It's clearly an expert. What's yes. the answer? B. Granulation. Did and you spell that right? I hope is that an so. A? Yes. Okay, so that's grant U and then the L. Yeah, you got it. Yes. Nice. Yes. All right, we're on move four three. Nice. No one crashes. Thank God. Very good. One, two, three. Oh, free space station. Oh, free space station? Okay, where do I put that's it? That's crazy. That's crazy. Orange Jesus was good to me today, so I landed on this free space station space. So I got the space station anyways. Um, yeah, that wasn't really according to plan. My plan was just go fast, and then I'll never collide with anyone, right? So I'll never need the space station. But yeah. Uh, oh, yes. uh, wow, this is very hard to tell which could it like yeah. Wait, where's the next sure. check one let's do that um who turn is it it's mine okay go ahead all right daniel you, you got you cost this last time you got to do this right now all right five yeah oh, oh. okay and it's an easy question one two no it's three, not four, <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> all, all right one. go ahead Greece. Oh, would you, uh, yeah, I'm buying, I'm buying the moon card. Would you like the moon card? Mm -hmm. Would you like to play the moon card? I, I already flicked. Come on, I only get a five again. Come on, just watch. All right, so, Wait, so you can play the moon card after you flick? You have to play before you flick. Give me the moon card. 
They spent good money for it, my American dollars. <laughs> okay. What did the Italian astronaut Giovanni, I don't know how to say that, Schiaparelli, observe on the surface of Mars in the second half of the 19th century that led him to believe that there is a Martian civilization? A. Spacecraft like objects. B. System of rivers. C. Network of linear structures. I've actually heard of this before, but I'm not sure. You know, sometimes when I think about it, that means you're thinking about it. Don't think about it too hard, Daniel. <laughs> don't mess up, don't mess up. My hands are so cold right now. This is unethical. Well, we are in the vacuum of space. All right. That's true. I don't remember if I did that right. Okay, so it was C, network of linear structures. Ah, oh, very good. I got network, I, I spell rivers. linear. I'm like I'm so, so dead, dead without autocorrect. This is just a nightmare for me. I didn't think it was rivers, because rivers aren't S -T -R -U -C. like man made, you know? All right, go cool. on. Everyone's yeah, yeah, self checking. Yeah. Okay, so. Because it was tossed between B and C. Number five for everyone, right? No, no, I didn't get it. No, okay, so for me, one, two, three, four, five. I got it. And then yeah. five for. I got it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And then with. Ooh, Alright, Alex, that's the underdogs. You gotta start. But you two didn't get it? No. no. Get it. Okay. Yeah. Then, okay. It's time to go ham. Oh, it's yeah. moon car time. Oh, he's gonna <laughs> moon himself. It's also oh. Martian time, but anyway. Ooh. Um, yeah. Oh! oh. That's crazy. Okay, okay it's time. So he yeah. can go up to 20 with this? Yes. I was saying my flicking skill was pretty good. I got a five. I got a five when it mattered, too. Hey, look, the space station already coming in clutch. I know. All right, ready, guys? What is solar, parentheses, stellar wind? A, a strong wind absorbing objects into a black hole. B, a stream of electrified particles emitted by the sun or another star. C, the solar wind does not exist. Yeah. Flip the timer. Oh, my God. Stop remembering this is going to be a pain. <laughs> But can he move the 20? The solar wind cannot hurt you. <laughs> it cannot hurt you. It isn't real. <laughs> Do not check under your closet for the solar wind. Do not look under your bed for the solar wind. <laughs> and above all else, do not call the police on oh, the solar <laughs> Oh my god, it's so long. <laughs> uh, is, it gonna, is it gonna fit on the paper? No, it doesn't fit. <laughs> I'm using two lines. Okay. The answer is... B, a stream of electrified particles emitted by the sun or another star. Oh! <laughs> All right, that's okay, correct, okay, right? Okay. All right, yep, that's good. Of electrical particles. <laughs> I had to fit it in, it's so small. That's good. But did he misspell anything? Nope. Okay. I, think I don't think so. <laughs> electrified, I guess. Oh, oh no, it's oh, oh, no! No! Oh, no! I missed it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's... Electrified? Oh, that would have instantly won you the game, right? Because you would have been right there. No, because... I would have to land here, uh -huh. and then I would I'd have to try to flick a one. I messed up that one word, and I was sad. <laughs> but it's okay. Life happens. Anyways, I don't know about you guys, but uh, see ya, losers. One, or two, or three, or four, Oh my five. god. Yeah, put me up five. But everyone else get a correct one? Yes. Okay, so then, yeah, uh, one, or two, or three, or four. No, or five, I missed one, one two, word. Three, four, it wasn't five. even one word, it's like, I made... Okay. <laughs> Electrical or electrified? Mm. Oh my god. Alrighty. Or electrified. <laughs> electrified <laughs> particles from the sun. Alright, well, I think I think we're mooning it. I think we got to. Her slash no context. A three. It's a six. I'll take it. Okay, so uh you go a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. Alrighty. What was the name of the Super. American robotic vehicle that discovered five meteorites without human help in two thousand? A Albert, B, Yawn One, or C, Nomad. Vibes only. No knowledge allowed here. Uh, this one I've never heard of, I think. Eh, well, it's definitely not Fat Albert, or is it? Or is it? Or is it? Or is it? Yeah, you can write now. C, Nomad. Yes. Nomad! Oh, okay, Oops. very good. Did I spell that right? Yep. Okay, go, man. <laughs> Yeah, Alright, move me up another six. Why are you mad? Okie dokie. One, two, three, four, five. So you moved further than you did. Yeah, that's not true. I also get three. Yeah, you moved 15, right? Oh, no, I moved 10. I moved 10. 10. Oh, I moved 12. No, no, no. He was just already ahead because of his... Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, a one, a two, and a three. And then we go a uh, one, a two, and a three. All right. Oh, we're all in red now. We're officially in red, so... Okay. 
Okay. Did everyone, everyone get that right? Yeah. Yes. Dang. None of them sound like real names. Yeah, okay, I, go ahead. I, 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 I yeah. vaguely remember a nomad at some point, so I was like, all right, that's the. Mm-hmm. Well, we only got three more rounds, okay. so we are we're we're mooning. Yeah. Moon. Wait, wait, wait. Ash, there's a camera gun. This. Okay. No. No. He invalidated. I actually I calculated it. If I if I hit the five, I would have got to Mars. I would have hit the first Mars point. Um, so. All right, it's oh, your turn. No, we are in dire straits, my friends. I have two more rounds. All right, I'm mooning myself because, you know, it's all goes. Yep. You invalidated a moon, too, of all things. It, it couldn't have been. Oh, it's a two. It's a two. No, no, no. Right. I, I'm, I'm not very good there. I have a chance, maybe. The flicking in this? Mm, pretty good, that despite the fact I flicked, uh, was it a two on my times two? Kind of a big yikes. What is the largest moon in our solar system? A, Ganymede. B, Ida. C, Callisto. Like, uh, this this is the easy category of questions? I think it's, I'm not sure. Let's stare. Okay. Anyways, answer is A, Ganymede. What? Okay, Ganymede. I thought it was Titan, but I guess- I move one, two, three, four. Do oh no, this, uh... I crash. Oh, but do I crash? Hold on, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, sure, I'll play all my cards. All right, I move forward 10. <laughs> you want to say? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Sure. See ya. <laughs> Holy crap. So, I don't understand. Do you five, like- two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, right? <laughs> Can you play more than one of those in turn? <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't say anything. No, yeah, I, no, I, sure. I moved forward five when I was playing when the- uh, <laughs> Okay, well, um, you know, that's crazy. Ten, uh, 10 points worth of movement in one single action, which I feel like should be illegal, but you never know, I guess. Yeah, Daniel had the nuts. Sometimes you just draw the nuts, you know? That's how it works. <laughs> more about three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So actually, the math go there. Sure. Okay. I, I miscounted because I thought this was two words, but it was blocked by our space stations. Wait, winnable? All right. Right. All right. Yeah. I mean, do, do your flick I wins. So I, have to, I have to flick a one then, right? No, yes. no, no, not right now. No, not right now. It's, it's right his now. turn. Yeah, it's immediately. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Wait, did you get it on camera? Oh, good. That's oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I was too excited. I did not cheat. I swear to God. They can confirm. You guys, yeah, I didn't actually, cheat, right? Actually, Daniel cheated. We should, we should go. I slingshotted off Pernov's spaceship to get to Mars. <laughs> uh, I can't say it was too unexpected. Um, we support our American allies in their adventure to Mars. Uh, I'm not good enough at flicking to, to get anything useful on there, but that first five I got was sweet. Doesn't matter. I'm America. Big money. Spend the cards. Move four, ten spaces. Everyone's like, what? I, uh, huh? I want to learn something. I want to play a game with the family. I want to teach some kids something. This, this game is great for that. Well, that was yet yeah, another win by Daniel in this shelf side plays. How many has he won by now? I didn't do that, man! Oh, hey, 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 what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. But yeah, let's go to Mars. Is it strategic? fun, and educational game for all ages. Uh, heck, I learned a lot more about space. Check it out on Kickstarter in the link below. It's for all ages, you can play with your family. You can flick your way to Mars as you train your brains and your fingers, woohoo. Hopefully you had a good time watching us answer trivia questions about going to Mars, and I guess space in general. Thank you all for watching this shelf side plays of Let's Go To Mars. Don't forget to subscribe to our Patreon, buy some merch, Thank you. Goodbye. Our degree in physics has never felt more useless. <laughs> <laughs> uh.